I don't understand you. You're all up on perches, but it doesn't hide your buttholes. You don't give a crap about gods and heroes. If you're honest, each and every one of you, which of you isn't more at home with his hair dressed in Hercules or Horatius or your stupid Danius come to that? Or mine? Mine! Idomeneo, king of Crete. All those anguished antiques are all bores. Bores, bores, bores! Oh, serious operas written this century are boring! Ha <laughs> ha Look at us! Four gaping mouths. What a perfect quartet. I love to write it. Just this second of time. This, now, as you are. Herr Chamberlain thinking, In person of Mozart, I must speak to the Emperor at once. Herr Prefect thinking, Ignorant Mozart, debasing opera with his vulgarity. Her court composer thinking, German Mozart, <laughs> what could he finally know about music? And Herr Mozart himself, in the middle, thinking, I'm just a good fellow, why do they all disapprove of me? That's why opera is important, Baron, because it's realer than any play. A dramatic poet would have to put all those thoughts down one after another just to represent this second of time. The composer, can put them all down at once and still make us hear each one of them. Astonishing device, vocal quartet. I tell you, I want to write a finale lasting half an hour. A quartet becoming a quintet becoming a sextant. On and on, wider and wider, all sounds multiplying and rising together. And together, creating a sound entirely new. I bet you that's how God hears the world. Millions of sounds ascending at once and mixing in his ear to become an unending music. Unimaginable to us. That, 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 that's our job. That's our job. We composers, to combine the inner minds of him and him and him and her and her, the thoughts of chambermaids and court composers, and turn the audience into God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I talk nonsense all day. It's incurable. Ask Stanzo. My tongue is stupid, Baron. My heart isn't. All right. Good morning, class. Welcome back to another day of online school. Hope you're all doing well. Let's get started. Wait, before we start, um, Jason, can you please turn on your camera? It is required to have it on. Uh, for Jason, please turn on your camera. Jason, okay then. Oh, Freya, can you please adjust your screen so we cannot just see your forehead? Oh dear. That's too much. Can you just adjust it, adjust it so we can just see your mouth? We want to see your whole face, but maybe move your screen back a little. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. All right. Class, seems like we can finally get started. Earl, son, you're unmuted. Why are you watching YouTube? It's not even the most boring part of my class yet. Mia, please would you get out of bed? We are literally in class right now. You can't be sleeping in class. Get out of bed and find a desk already. Sean, what is that? You can't hear me. Uh, oh, um, have you tried reloading the Zoom page? You can't reload Zoom. Oh, well, how about you try and leave and rejoin again? Okay. Oh, no. Gina, it looks like you're frozen. Are you frozen? You're frozen. Ah, uh, mute your mic, dear. My ears. Please turn off your microphone. Thank you. Moving on. Oh, oh, what a pleasant surprise. Everyone look here. My cat Peanut has decided to join our lesson. Oh, don't you think it... Get, get off my... Get off of... Oh, Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I realise we have been doing this for months now, but we only got to hang in for a little longer. And yes, it's been hard and extraordinarily frustrating, but I believe that we can do it. So let's go to it. Only a little longer, guys. We'll be in school soon enough. Come on. Oh, I disconnected from my lesson in the middle of my inspirational speech. I will not cry. I will not cry. Come on, Payne. Thank. This morning, I'll look at you tomorrow, and I have nothing. Not a single word. 
mess up. I'm going to fail my theatre class because I can't think up think of one paragraph. Perhaps some cookie ice cream could help. No, I have to stay focused. Maybe I should make it about love or something. Teachers, like that sort of thing, right? Oh, I could write it about a kid with a scar. He gets to lay off from a foreign school and finds out he's a wizard. And... No, that's how I put it. Oh, maybe I could write about a character who can't come up with a monologue and is trying to brainstorm ideas. I want to write about. No, that's too meta. Must be held on. It has to be. But I really can't fail. If I fail and I get a B in my report card, then that B turns into an F. Then boom. Oh, I'm failing all my classes and I have to drop out of school to become a sales spinner outside of KFC. Not to mention them on to kill me. But I wouldn't blame her either. If I was a single mum working two jobs to provide for a kid who fills all our classes, I'd be mad too. She really is the best. She always supports my level of theatre. And to be honest, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't without her. She's my hero. Wait, I could do a monologue about my mum and how she works hard every day. This is going to be so good. My, I think all the spring summers and I'm going to visit with two of my good friends. Ben and Jerry. Before COVID, I went to school today and the word COVID, 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 that was it. The word was popping up everywhere. Apparently there is this virus going around. <laughs> it's probably all of it. Some people are saying we'll have to wear surgical masks and stay in our houses for months on end. <laughs> that I do not believe. My teacher said there was no chance of us catching it, but I'm not really sure. We'll just have to wait and see. During COVID. Ugh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it all. I want this thing to be over. Everything has changed. Everyone's lives were just flipped upside down. Some days are great. Having nice walks and chilling in your house. Relaxing really, isn't it? But having to queue to get into the shop only to buy some milk, and only seeing one friend at a time. It is a very awkward situation when a friend asks to hang out with you, but you have already made plans with someone else. You could just invite them, but COVID rule says you can't, so what are we meant to do? Very, very nervous situation. I could rant all day, but I won't, because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Anyway, I just want all this to be over, and if I had one wish, it would be for this thing to end. After. Today is the day. Nicola Sturgeon is announcing it. Finally, after all the struggle and the boredom and the obsessive bad news, she's finally announcing the lift of lockdown and the dates we can start seeing all our friends again. The day we can have sleepovers and the day we lose face masks. The day we can stop social distancing and the day our lives get back to normal and we can put all this stuff behind us. These days can't come soon enough. It's like running a marathon, but only being able to take one step at a day. But the end is near, and I cannot wait. All we need is a little hope. Dear diary, today was not a good day. I mean, most days are like that now, but here's how my day started. I was late because I slept through my alarm and because the school moves are so bad, I had to make breakfast. And by the time I'd done that and got my school stuff ready and left, it was 8.41, leaving me only 9 minutes to watch school. And it usually takes me about 12 to 13 minutes. I also had to do my makeup on the way to school, which was just great. And the best thing, my class was on the top floor and I had to get a mask from the bottom floor. Well, at least after that I had English and I just got to watch Jurassic World, which was fine, but after that, I had Spanish. Spanish, I know, right. My day doesn't really get much better from here. I had math, which usually takes 15 hours. Then, I had Enterprise. I don't really know what Enterprise is. All we do is go on the idea. Anyway, 
after that, I had lunch. I can't ever go out for lunch because there's always teachers going to the places we, we go to, so I don't really eat. It's fine. Lunch is always the same. I go up with my friends, get nothing, sit down and get ignored. I sit there every day with backs turned. And what I mean by that is everyone is having conversations around me. And I just sit there. It's fine. It kind of sucks, but oh well. At least after that I only did science. All we really do is written work because my class can't be trusted to do anything. We never really get to do experiments because it takes too long and we don't have time to tidy up and it takes us too long to tidy up. Well, when I was working at home I got to walk home with one of my friends, which was one of the best parts of my day. But this is probably the best part of my day, I get to come outside and write. I think tomorrow is going to be good though. Covid, don't get me started about it. I mean, yeah, the home learning and going out for walks every day was fun and all, but come on, you really think not being able to see friends and family was fun? It was the most boring thing ever. When lockdown first began, we all thought it was going to be over soon, but we were wrong. It was around summertime, the weather was nice, but I couldn't see any of my friends. We had to stay two metres away from each other. That meant not going to town, the beach, the shops. The only way we could actually talk was over text or FaceTime, which was better than nothing, but it wasn't the same. I was just about to finish my last year of primary, move on to the fun side of the year. Not much work, loads of trips. It was going to be amazing. But no, we had to stay at home and do all this work on a computer. Since no shops were open, I had to shop online. Luckily, there was Amazon, which has almost everything. I got used to it quite quickly. It's actually much easier than going to, all the way to a shop. Now I can just open an app and bam, I'm basically in a shop. I hate being a musician. I've been one for five years. However, collectively, I've spent about one of them actually playing. The rest of them were spent taking my trumpet to rehearsal, Logging it to lessons and travelling to competitions. Once I finish playing, my lips are dying. It's very difficult playing high notes, especially octave jumps. It's almost like my teacher is actually trying to kill me. Not to mention having to understand half of the Italian language. Given that musical words are written in Italian, I'm somehow expected to understand them. Do you know how tiring it gets? pretending to understand what the conductor's going on about. Schools should offer Italian. Not to mention having to learn how to read music. Bass clef, treble clef, tab, and God knows what else. And once rehearsal is actually finished, I need to take the stupid instrument home. My mum is like a personal chauffeur at this point, to be honest. The worst thing is waking up at 6 a.m. for the Manchester competitions. Five hours. Five hours. Five hours there and five hours back. To be fair, we did have a half break at the halfway mark, but still, I didn't know my phone had that much charge in it. A group of people on the bus had a queen sing along at one point. That was cool. Don't even get me started on guitars. My finger strength needs to be developed, especially when I'm playing an acoustic guitar. I even have one right here, and I've been holding in a D chord for not that much time, but my fingers are already, like, they're not doing very well. And they're also very heavy as well. But then, as if my life wasn't hard enough already, COVID-19 showed up. Life kind of went horrible for most artists after that. I couldn't go to proper rehearsals with my instrument, meaning my fitness levels are not what they used to be. Life just isn't the same. Seeing people for a little box in my screen. Whenever we play songs as a band, we have to go on a Zoom meeting, meet ourselves, play the song with the backing track that was sent to us. And then, when that's finished, we have to log off 
play the song, record it, and send it to the correct email address. Hard task, especially the email address part. The reason we recorded Bot Mutant is so that we can trick people into thinking that we were playing it together. The sound and video are then edited into each other and synced. Very sneaky, funny stuff. I've missed my musician friends a lot. One of my friends also quit Trump because he didn't see the point in it. You what? You don't see the point in anything? Well, in that case, you don't see the point in anything at all in life. Going by that logic, what's the point of the Dream SMP? Sorry, Dream SMP stands. What's the point in Sonic? What's the point in life? What were we put on Earth to do? Soon enough, we're going to die and never be remembered. Although, my middle name is after my great-great-great-grandmother. My great-great-great-grandmother didn't have to struggle through COVID! She probably had way more struggles than my entire family as a whole. This is turning into a philosophical rant. Anyways, the main message I'm trying to convey here is DON'T BECOME A MUSICIAN! Okay, thanks, bye. It has a lot to offer, but don't do it because I just told you all of that stuff, though. Just, just don't save yourself.